We are very familiar with who you are. In fact, sometimes we worry about a bit about our mother's preoccupation with you. Yeah, sometimes we think she thinks you're real. Ha, well, guess what, Gail girl? I am real. But enough about me. I hear that you two girls have the most wonderful dad in the world. Is that correct? Yes, it is, Coco. Other dads pale in comparison to our dad. Oh, really? That's a pretty bold claim, Miss Gale Girl. Could you maybe give me an example of what makes your dad so special? Well, for one thing, when we were little, he always take, took us to eat to, at Eaton Park on Saturdays so that our mom could sleep. All right. That's pretty nice. And by the way, do they serve gummy worms at Eaton Park? Coco, this isn't about you. It's about our dad. Now, I can give you an excellent example of how terrific our dad is. When I was a little girl in elementary school, I could always count on my dad to let me wear anything I wanted. My mom might have put out some goofy holiday skirt and top for Christmas concerts, but dad let me wear my favorite Halloween sweatshirt. I was the only one in orange and black, as I recall. Oh, that does sound pretty special. <laughs> Did your dad ever teach you anything Really cool? Absolutely. Dad taught me how to scuba dive. It was really a learning experience. Like the time we went to Florida and swam up the manatees and huge tarpons. Oh! Woo! That'd be scary. I guess your dad was really protective when it came to those long, big tarpon, huh? Well, actually, he laughed when I begged to get back to the boat. Oh, okay! Well, then what else makes your dad so terrific? Well, he took me to a Penn State game when I was 12. Oh, and how was that? I really hated it. Oh. Uh, there were guys spitting tobacco and stuff like that. They swore and Dad yelled at them. I was mortified. Okay. Well, how about some other examples? I have one. Dad let me enroll at Alfred University and then let me switch to Grove City and then he let me switch back to Alfred again. All within a year's time. Oh, yeah, and he bought me a new laptop, then sold it. And now he's going to buy me another one. Whoa! All right, now you've convinced me. That is pretty special. Oh, and he fixes my computer at ridiculous times of the day and night. Because he realizes how important it is for me to keep my messenger, instant messenger up to date. Speaking of stuff like that, I have to say that Dad was really great when I ran up a slightly obscene phone bill. After his little explanation of the potential consequences of talking endlessly to boyfriends on the phone, I felt inspired to change my ways. Oh, so both you fantabulous daughters go to college. That's right. And our dad is always there for us when we need to move in and out. Yeah, well, I've been wondering about that. How long does that process usually take? Anywhere from 23 minutes to 4 hours, according to Dad. He was slightly prone to exaggeration. Uh, exaggeration? Now, what do you mean by that? Right now. Well, we love our dad, but he does have this one little habit of exaggerating things, like how big the sharks are. And how he drives me to orientation kicking and screaming. But he is a great dad, nevertheless. He's totally dependable, and he remembers when we need things done, like sending me a battery for my cell phone. Speaking of mail, don't forget those amazing incredible laundry bags and blankets. That's right. What other dad would do that? And what dad would let you use his ties for our project? Now that is pretty amazing, I must admit. Hey, does your dad like gummy worms? Not especially, Coco, but he does like apples, peanut M&Ms, coffee, ice cream, and he is the condiment queen, the condiment king. Thanks to our dad, we never run out of ketchup. Oh, my! Hey, now, let's talk about pets. Did your dad say, like, crows? 
Well, I can't say for sure, but we have a lot of pets, and I don't think most dads would have put up with having three dogs, one cat, dozens of mice, birds, an exploding bunny, a frog that ate about $5,000 worth, or $500 worth of crickets, crabs that ate neighbor kids' ears, hamsters, rabbits, guinea pigs, salamanders, fish, tadpoles, and toad. Wow! No crow? I can't believe it! I am Sad but true, Coco. We also had an adorable dog named Patches. And your dad loved Patches. Well, not exactly. Patches had a few little perks, like peeing on dad's new suit, ripping his arm out of his socket on walks, embarrassing him at the grocery store. But did dad get rid of Patches? No. Oh, and why was that? It might have been because he knew we loved Patches. Or it might have been because mom cried a lot. Yeah, but the important thing is, he lets you keep patches. Exactly. You know, it sounds like you two daughters could go on and on and on forever and ever about how great your dad is. Now, is there anything else you care to add for our viewing audience? Other than encouraging me to be a lifeguard and taking me on scuba vacations, buying me a bunch of different cell phones, scaring boyfriends away, well, there's not enough time to say it all. And he really made it possible for me to pursue a lifelong dream to be a pierogi. I couldn't have done it without him. He also took me to spring training, which was incredibly fun. Yeah, I have to agree with Gail. Telling how great Dad is could be a regular mini-series or feature-length film. Or well, I can see what you mean. You know, it sounds like you two really love your dad and appreciate all that he has done for you. You can say that again. It sounds like your dad, you really love your dad and appreciate all he has done for you. We didn't mean that literally, Coco, the repeating part. But yeah, we really love our dad. Now, are you sure there's nothing more you need to tell your dad? Well, we are really proud of his swimming ability. We're happy he keeps himself in shape, because that way he'll always be able to fix stuff for us, do our taxes, move us out of the house, and into our new apartment, set up our computers. Okay, I get the picture. And to be honest, I don't have all day. I've got things to do, you know, like hang out in the cornfields, look for some fresh roadkill, dig up some gummy worms, you know. But hey, girls, you convince me that you do have the greatest dad in the world. So, how about let's close out our show with a heartfelt message. You ready, girls? Go to it. Happy, Happy Father's, Father's Day, Dad. Dad. We, we love, love you. you.